Hello and welcome back to another What I'm Into video. This is the June's 2018 installment. I'm Jennifer Mata McMahon. So let's get into it. So this month I thought I'd share with you some of my makeup favorites, things that I've been into in terms of products that I've been using on my face other than e.l.f. because we know that I love e.l.f. Um, but also some food, some shoes, some books, and some audiobooks that I've been enjoying um, during this month. My setup is different because I am in my guest room. I had to take all of my recording equipment out of my, um, not living room, dining room, where I have it set up, typically and I moved it over to my guest room to get it out of the way because there were some people coming over and I didn't want to have, have it set up in the middle of the living room or the dining room. So I stored it here and then I figured, oh, you know what, I can record in here and, and I can close the door in here actually and keep the doggies out. Maxi was just barking a little bit um, before so if he does bark during the video, just know that he's out there. Probably not happy that I closed the door on him. Anyway makeup products that I've been into in the month of June. I'm going to share with you some powders, some uh, A blush, A mascara, A highlighter. There's like one of each of these things. There's two lippies that I've been enjoying, but mainly um, it's been one of them. So I rediscovered my beloved NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. I've been using this non-stop to set my under eyes after I apply concealer. and. I've been loving this. I've been using this, use this every day. Another powder that I've rediscovered and I've been using every day as well to set my foundation is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder and I use the shade Creamy Natural but they have many other shades and um, they have a translucent one too that I don't know if it does you know, tint your skin a little lighter and leaves a little bit of a light um, overlay on your skin. This one does. This one covers a little bit and has that um, light beige tint to it. Another thing that I've been loving powder-wise is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and this one is in Be My Highlight, although I don't know that they have another a different shade than this one. Um, I love this. This highlighter is great because it can be used if you take a little bit of it, if you just take a little bit from um, the, the product and apply it to your face, you can barely see it. But if you take a lot, it, you can really see the highlight and it's, it's, the powder is really finely milled and it's really nice on the face. It doesn't accentuate uh, texture or blemishes or wrinkles or it doesn't highlight anything that you don't want to highlight but it brings light to the certain areas of your face where you apply it. So I've been loving that. The other thing that I've been loving bronzer wise is the butter bronzer and I have the, the shade bronzer. This was before they came out with the light one and the darker version. Um, so I've used mine quite a bit and I love it. Uh, sometimes what I do is I don't contour. I typically contour and bronze and put blush and highlighter and, and go all out. But uh, lately I haven't been contouring, just bronzing. So I'll bronze in the, I'll use this bronzer in the typical areas where I would contour and then just leave it at that and just apply blush um, and highlighter. The other thing that I've been loving also from Physicians Formula is the Butter Blush. And I have the shade Vintage Rouge and I really love this blush. It's It shows up a little bit, it's not too out there, but you could build it up if you wanted to. And um, I love this these butter products. Um, they have, what is it called? murmur butter in them, which I'm not really sure what that is, but I think that it's what makes it really, really soft and creamy to the touch and to the um, application. The other thing that I'm loving uh, makeup-wise is the Essence Lash, Lash Princess, and I use the version in green. This is this mint green 
color. Um, th that's not the color of the mascara. The mascara is black. Um, and I think all of their mascaras are just black. But the packaging has uh, different colors to it. And I like the one in green. This is the actually the only one that I've tried. But I've heard that the one that has purple packaging um, and the one that has orange packaging are also good. I just use this one. This one has a false uh, lash effect. So you put it on and really it curls your lashes, holds the curl, lengthens the lashes, makes them look a little more um, uh, thick and as if you had more lashes than you actually have. And so it does everything. It, it curls, it holds, and it stays. It, uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that, and it's because of my eyes, so I think that if you have different kinds of eyes than I do, this would probably not happen uh, to you. But for me, it transfers a little bit um, to my lower, the lower part of my eye, and I have to like retouch my concealer or clean it up a bit. Um, and that's just because of the shape of my eyes and my face, I think. Um, I don't necessarily think that that happens to everybody. So I've been loving this. All of these products that I'm mentioning, I've been using on the regular. Um, I sometimes swap it up if I want to try out a new product that I've just purchased and I want to sort of see how that performs. So I won't use these products, I will use that. But in my default, like if I don't have time, I can't think about what to wear um, in terms of makeup and I want to do my, my makeup really quickly and just get out the door and use something that I know works, I'll go for these things. Um, at least that's what I've been doing this past month. And the last thing I wanted to share with you makeup wise are the NYX Butter Gloss glosses. Um, uh, so these lippies, I have tiramisu, which is a little more uh, warm tone, and I have food angel cake, which is a little more pink shade. So I have a warmer one, a cooler one, and I use both of them. I use them, I typically line my lips with a lip liner, and then I'll put this on top directly, or I'll put um, a more mattifying lipstick and then put one of these on top. So depending on if I have a cooler look or a warmer look, I'll use either of these, but both of them are fantastic. And these are old, old like I, I purchased them maybe two years ago and I love them. I love them and I still love them. They still perform perfectly. I, they still feel great on the lips. The color is fantastic. It's just, I can't say enough good things about them. And the, the good thing about all of these products that I've mentioned um, is that all of them are drugstore products and all of them are really, really affordable kinds of products that um, you can easily find at an Ulta store or a CVS or a Walmart or a Walgreens or a Rite Aid or a Dwayne Reed or whatever floats your boat, wherever you prefer to buy things. I would recommend Walmart because it's the cheapest place, but some of these things um, you can't find at Walmart, so either Target or Walgreens or CVS or any of those um, will work for you. But you'll see that they're very inexpensive, they're not high-end, they're drugstore prices and you can find them at the drugstore and they're really, really good. Okay, so for food, if you know me, you know that I love candy and I go through phases with candy and with food in general but with candy in particular and right now I am obsessed because and, and I, I am sort of like an obsessive compulsive kind of person. When I get into something that's what I want, what I want, what I want until I reach my point of saturation and then I don't want to see it anymore. Um, so that's what I, that's happening to me with these candies and it's the Haribo Gold Bears and I love them both. I love the traditional Gold Bears gummy candy, the, the sweet ones, and I love the sour kind as well. So both of these have been my favorite. I have, I've gotten Mike hooked on them as well, but I love them and I could just eat and eat and eat these for 
until the bag is empty. And these are, these are, as you can see, these are the big, big bags. There are little ones as well that I've gone through many of those. But I right now have these, these big ones. I love those. I recently discovered those. Um, another thing that I am loving and enjoying, not food-wise, is reading. And I, I've always loved to read. And I've gotten into audiobooks. And I'm using Audible as my app for audiobooks. And there's uh, three books that I read this month. Um, well, one of them I, I just started yesterday, and I'm still um, I'm still listening to it. But um, they are The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. I have them here uh, written down, but that one I really enjoyed uh, because the the main character, the protagonist, is a tarot card reader. And again, if you know me, you know that I read tarot cards, and I. Um, could identify I could when she talked about cards I could see them in in my eyes mind right I could remember the image of the card and I could I would know what she was talking about in terms of oh this card came out and this is what it meant and, and it was really interesting hearing her definitions of each of the cards that would come up in the readings that she was doing for her for her clients um, so I enjoyed that one that's not what the, the book is not about tarot um, but um, the main character is a tarot card reader, so that's that's sort of what was the hook for me, was that. Um, that was The Death of Mrs. Westaway, and that was by Ruth Ware. I also listened to Behind Closed Doors by um, B.A. Paris, and I, I finished the book in two days had to read it really quickly or had to listen to it really really quickly because one of the main characters is a awful terrible like cringing bad psychopath and I I just it I don't know the descriptions of the guy the the what he said what he did just the I don't know just the tone of his voice of everything everything just g gave me the chills and I had to finish that book so 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 quickly um, because I couldn't just not read it right I couldn't I couldn't just not finish it I had to finish it but it was hard to finish because really the the guy the that that character just gave me the creeps anyway um, it's a good book it's just it was hard <laughs> for me to, to to stick with it and and I had to because I, I was not about to just not finish a book that I had started right um, and the last one the one that I'm reading right now or that I'm listening to right now is something in the water and this is a new one it's by Katherine Steadman and I just started it yesterday or the day before um, and so far it's okay um, it starts out with the main character digging a grave, and I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I, and then it's, it starts that way, and then she takes you back so that you know what happened in the three months that led to um, that that scene. But I don't know. It it, it kind of ro rubs me the wrong way to start already knowing how the book is going to end. So I don't know. Um, I'll let you know when I finish that one. Another book that I am enjoying, and this is a hard copy book, is The Power of Meaning by Emily Esfahani Smith. And the interesting thing about this book is I had listened to a podcast, uh, not a podcast, a TED Talk. Uh, I had listened to a video TED Talk of hers. and. Um, this is her and she I really liked what she had to say and I used that information in a paper that I was writing on uh, spirituality and humor and how the search for meaning and happiness I was looking I was looking at making a point of happiness being the link between children's expression of spirituality and children's expression of humor and I realized that uh, in reading this book and in listening to that TED talk uh, that it's more about the pursuit of meaning and purpose 
than it is of happiness itself. So um, I, I bumped into her doing research for that paper that I was writing and read that uh, or listened to that TED talk and then at work they had they offered this book because they were bringing her for a mini conference, a mini teaching and learning conference that they do every year, they were, she was going to be the keynote speaker. And so I signed up for that conference and went over and, and heard her speak, which was great, which is a really good treat. And um, I also signed up to receive a, a copy of her book and they gave me a copy of her book and I've been reading it and really liking it. The thing is I already know what the book is about because I heard her speak about the book and I already saw the TED talk about the book and I've already written and quoted things that I know that are from the book. So it's been a little slow read because I already know the, the essence of it. Um, but, you know, reading a book is always different and always much more enriching than just listening to a video or, or, or even listening to the author speak. There's much more in here than what I heard her share in an hour, right? Or in a 20 minute video. So uh, I want to finish that book. Um, and so far it's great and I really recommend it if you're into positive psychology and um, beyond positive psychology in terms of beyond just search for happiness but search for actual meaning and purpose in life this is a great a great read um, and the last thing that I am into that I wanted to share with you is a pair of shoes that I bought and they're special for a few reasons let me get them so these are the shoes um, I've been wearing them a lot so it's not like they're clean, so I, want, I don't want to have them too close to my face. But they are the Bobs by Skechers, and they have memory foam, and they are espadrilles, if you can see here on the side. They're espadrilles, and they have memory foam inside, and they are um, suede. And I got them in this, like, off-white kind of color off white grayish kind of color they are the most comfortable thing ever so that's one of the things that makes them really special is that they are they're really really comfortable um, really soft inside I took them with me to New York and I walked Manhattan with these shoes and if you have ever walked Manhattan you know that it's really hard to not get blisters with any shoe that you use or that you wear and um, I didn't get any blisters with these shoes and I was wearing them for the first time so they were new shoes walking Manhattan not a good combination but for these guys it was great um, I had no blisters they're super soft there's nothing in this shoe that would give you a blister so and because of the memory foam they're really cushiony and they support your your foot there's a percentage of the profits from selling these shoes that goes to Paws, and it, um, it so you're giving money back to take care of dogs that are um, in needs, that are in shelters, that are in, at Paws, and that are up for adoption. And I love that idea. So I loved that by me buying these shoes that are super comfortable and that I'm really enjoying wearing, I can also help um, my furry friends and uh, give back to organizations that take care of, of dogs. So yeah, that's it. That's um, what I have been loving this month and enjoying and I hope that you share with me what you have been loving and enjoying as well. I would love to know and I will see you again soon. Bye!